Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the tale of Princess Kavya or Kavya Himeno Monogatari. Now obviously like this is one show uh, that I really wanted to watch because uh, of like Princess Kavya. Like I've heard a lot of you know uh, things from anime and a lot of other animes about Kavya and um, like the tale of the bamboo cutter I think it's called. So I really wanted to like know the actual like story properly and I'm not sure if this like uh, like this movie is going to like uh, like tell the actual tale or is it something that has been adjusted uh, for like you know like as animals usually do like change bits and portions of the actual uh, lore and like uh, like does it. I'm not sure if that is the case or if it is really the actual tale of Princess Kaguya. I'll check that out later on. I'll like Google it later on just to see that if the movie that I saw is something that is really the tale, actual tale of Princess Kaguya or not. So I'll like uh, look at that later on. But obviously like I wanted to know about this and because like this like Princess Kaguya comes in a lot of in a lot of animes and I've been quite curious about this. So yeah, uh, obviously so like I'm doing this movie then and um yeah and also uh, i'm going to like say this before like there's some construction going on outside like like not like all the time but sometimes like you can hear like a <laughs> like loud noise outside so like ignore that and um and there's like some like music playing outside as well like you might like like sound might come in sometimes so yeah like sorry about that so okay okay so yeah that gone that has gone out of the way now let's get started with this movie so it's quite a long movie so without further ado uh, let's get started with uh, the tale of princess kavya all right so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. All right. The tale of the Princess Kaguya. Okay. Based on the Japanese folk tale, the tale of the bamboo cutter. Yes. Okay. So. All right. So. So it is based on that actual story, but let's just see, let's just see what this is actually about. The noise. Sorry about that guys, like this construction outside. Okay, these are bamboos. I think uh, like this old man found Kaguya in like a bamboo shoot or something. Lift a bamboo cutter. Oh, the animation. Okay. Tanuki no Miyatsuko. Oh. Wow, the like drawing style is quite different from you know the Ghibli movies that we saw. God damn the noise outside. Bamboo shoot. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, like she was found inside the bamboo shoot. Whoa. <laughs> um.
What? What? Okay. <laughs> She's like, you know, cleaning his hands before. <laughs> She's sleeping. Okay, like I have to say the drawing is, you know, uh, when you like draw with um, watercolor, yeah, watercolor or like oil painting or not oil painting, this is water paint, like, I'm not sure, but it's quite unique, definitely not like the other Ghibli movies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um what the <laughs> Okay, don't drop her like <laughs> <laughs> oh oh she became a baby what the what okay i was not expecting that what <laughs> well what like you found her in a like bamboo shoot that's not unusual to you but this is <laughs> Hmm. Not a photo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. What? Um, what's happening? Wait, what? Oh, d did she like... Oh, damn! <laughs> so that's what happened. Like, I was like, why did she like suddenly stop? All right. Damn, the like drawing, you know, so good, the painting. <laughs> oh, is she growing? <laughs> she's growing, isn't she? Like she suddenly grew, not grew up, but she, she was like a grown up, but small. But then she like suddenly like grew up but became small, you know, uh, by age, you become younger. Oh. 
Yes. Oh, yes, it's growing. <laughs> Like they're going back to their houses. She maybe she'll like grow up, like grow older before like they reach their house or something. Plum blossoms, okay. Oh, she's he's grow, she's growing. Miraculous child. Yeah. Okay, she is growing like quick, a lot quicker. <laughs> but okay, flowers are blooming. Um, where is she going? Oh, what's that? Oh, a bamboo. Bamboo shoot. Oh, okay, don't, um, you can hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Who are these? <laughs> what did you do? She's rolling around. Is she, is she becoming bigger? Oh, or not? No, no, no. Oh! Where did this frog come from? Um. <laughs> it's mimicking that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Go. Uh, she can stand up now. Hmm. Oh, she caught the frog. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, like a bamboo shoot. Yeah. Takenoko. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Uh Oh my gosh <laughs> Wow, this is this is good like you know the way they are like presenting it like obviously the like painting and everything the like visuals is as fascinating uh, fascinating as it is but the way they are the voice acting you know uh originality in the voice acting and um what else the way they are like portraying human emotions that's quite fascinating as well Damn, she can run now. Oh, in the basket. She can do uh, small jobs like this now. She can talk. Okay. Wow, she's growing pretty quick. Oh, the, those those kids. Okay, don't wander away. Like, oh no, you might get lost. What the? What are those baby boards? Yeah, these are baby boards. Six little baby boys. Hmm. <laughs> These things are pretty cute when they're small, but when they will get bigger, you know, those big boards, they're pretty scary. Oh! Oh no! Okay, uh... Damn. Um. Oh, yeah, she got bigger. <laughs> okay. What what about you know that uh the guy? I forgot his name. Like like he's still cutting bamboo and he doesn't even know that like she went away like this. Oh, she knows. She can like talk now properly. Whoa.
Damn. Wait, they don't know the song. <laughs> hmm. Better go back quick. Like the bamboo cutter will, you know, get concerned. Yeah, like he's like out of his mind. Like where is she? Yeah. Poor guy. Wait. Wait, another one? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Um. What? What the hell? What is this gold? Oh, damn. Okay, that was weird. What did he do with the gold? Eh, yeah, she's fine, yeah. Okay, he didn't tell his wife about it. And it's still not telling. Oh, is this rubber? Or, or something else? Oh, lacquer. What's a lacquer? Oh. Damn. Oh, this is how you make the bowl. Wow. Damn, like somehow he she misses. It will just like, you know, plunge into her leg. And I think there was like a bandage also like wrapped around like she got hurt before that means doing it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she got the. Damn. She grew again, didn't she? Or not? Oh no. Oh, what happened? Oh. <laughs> no, uh, don't, don't. No. Um, was that okay? What is that? Like some kind of fruit? Is that watermelon or something? And he saw 
that. Oh. Uh. Okay, run now. This is your chance. Okay, what is that? Uh -huh. Yeah, this is... I think this is kind of a melon, not a watermelon, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, again. Damn, the <laughs> bamboo is like floating in midair. What the hell? What the? Oh, I think are these like being given to him so that, uh, like the girl can be, you know, uh, like the girl will be all okay and everything. Like for her, these are like being given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also that's the reason why like she was, she was given so much money, like the gold. But like, you know, like she needs these like simplistic lifestyle. I don't think so. You know, usually these kind of things don't go well, like suddenly, you know, going to the like the big city and changing your lifestyle suddenly. Like, yeah, like she'll get comfort, you know, those like the comfort of the uh, like big city, like she will have, you know, a lot of things there. But she'll lose a lot of things at the same time. And there are like bad people there as well, like who has all, all like people who wants to like use you. Autumn harvest, okay. Oh, that little bo uh, baby. Okay, she is a lot older. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Eh. Oh. 
Okay, it's flying again. Ah! <laughs> Got it. Oh! Damn, that's a... Uh... Okay, she, he's fine. But the pheasant got away. Oh, or not? Oh no, it's squished. Okay. Oh! Ah. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah she'll grow even older you know yeah like that's the thing Okay. <laughs> Damn. It's like a ninja. <laughs> okay. Where where are, where are they going? Oh no, maybe he's like going to the capital. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, this is what I was God damn. <laughs> yeah. Are they, are they the capital? What the? Oh, okay. Oh, 
um, what happened to the bamboo cutter and his wife? This is a fancy place, and I'm guessing this is some kind of, you know, royalty, like a place for one of the any like. Um, people of the royalty, I'm guessing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, who is? Is this uh, the um, is this a shogun or something? Wait, what? Oh, that's a bamboo cutter and his wife. Okay, that's not the shogun. Like, what? <laughs> what the okay i can kind of get oh this is maybe this is her house you know like bamboo cutter was making the mansion had plans of making the mansion okay i can kind of understand now so this is like like these two are like the owner of the mansion which they plan to give like uh which they plan to give it to her, the mansion to her. Damn, it's a huge place. Obviously, the gold was a lot, like, had, was a lot of amount. So, they were, like, easily able to make this. And even hire servants and everyone. Like, she's having fun now, but I don't know, like, I'm sure, like, she start missing her, you know, more simplistic lifestyle with, like, running around with the, like, uh, children and having fun, jumping around. Nope. Oh. Who is this? Yep, I saw that. Sagami. Oh boy. Yep, restrictions will start now, you know, as soon as you like, get into this royal lifestyle, restrictions will start piling up. Oh, okay. Hmm. Whoa! Like there's regulations to stand up as well? <laughs> what? Wow! What? Special technique, uh, substitution jutsu. <laughs> hmm. 
Ok. Oh! <laughs> ok, she's having fun. Like, that's good. Like, I thought maybe she'll, you know, become sad and everything with all the restrictions and all. Let's see what she's actually doing. Is she really practicing her handwriting? Let's see. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Little face. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Damn. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? Who is this? I've never seen a... <laughs> I've never, never seen someone like this before. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see if she plays really well. Yeah. Damn. She's talented, that means, you know, they can catch things quite quickly. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Whoa. Damn. Oh, she's... Wait, she's here? Why is she here? Wait, what happened? What is this place? Oh, okay, she's like doing it. Oh, what's with her? What's she doing? Oh. Uh, her like friends from before. I don't think uh, the bamboo cutter will like this. Yeah. You know, this is what happens. This is what happens if you like. The greed, greed makes you like this. Name father? What? Okay. Yeah, like, uh, I knew this time, this was going to come, you know, like, she'll start missing the kids and her, like, previous lifestyle. Like, these things are, like, good for a limited amount of time. But the way she was, like, brought up, that's something that she will never forget. And that's something that, you know, 
the simplistic lifestyle. Okay, so they said something about coming of age ceremony. Like, like I know uh, the Japanese have that, but like, what is that actually? I still like when you grow old or something. Okay, th thankfully she'll have like you know this little place where she can like do the things that she wants to. Like plant, like plant, uh, like trees and stuff. What? What's happening? Pluck my what? Blackened? What? Oh, trimming the eyebrows. Yeah, they have small eyebrows. I can see that. Oh, damn. <laughs> Okay, this is some big shot, I'm guessing. Uh, I think he's not impressed. Oh, or not. He's impressed. <laughs> hmm. Oh, sh sh he'll give the name, like, you know. I think this is some kind of a tradition, I'm guessing, when, like, they come into age, they have the coming into age ceremony. Like, they give some name, I think. Is that something? Shining Princess <coughs> Kaguya Hime, okay Okay, so that's how like her name comes, Kaguya Hime Shining Light
Yeah, she's not happy. Okay, whoa. As she said, like, they're like treating her like a doll, you know? Which I'm guessing, like, kind of like the tradition they had to, like, maintain in the older ages. Damn, like, she became a uh, big, like, one of those big people. Like, just look at it, like, you know, like, so, oh, oh, what's with her? Like, becoming rich means so many, like, responsibilities and stuff. Yeah, so why is she here, like? <laughs> Three days and nights, oh. <laughs> and here we go here we go okay Okay. 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 Damn, the animation, wow! So good, like, you know? So many, oh boy. Wow, this is an amazing animation style. Uh, the drawing style, the animation, everything. Damn. You know, you can feel the rage in her, the way the animation is going. Oh, damn. Did she run back to her, the village? Yeah, I think so. Mm, the, the old house they had.
Oh, that kid. They they cannot like recognize her or something. Or is it someone else's house? Oh, maybe, uh, oh, okay. I think they sold their house, didn't they? So someone else is like living here. Okay. Whoa, what happened here? Yeah, what happened? They're on a journey looking for good trades. Oh. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. So they're like going somewhere else. Oh. Mm. <laughs> She's gone. It's annoying. I think she like made, you know, like just like how they have to wait for spring to come. She also decided to wait for her time to come. So that she can meet them again or something. Yes, winter. Oh, what are these? Wait, she was dreaming? Wait, that was a dream? Oh, okay, that's... That was not expect... I was not expecting that, like... Yeah... She decided to wait, you know? Oh my god. Oh. teeth also like i'm sure like they have some kind of a meaning like you know behind these traditions which like i don't know but uh, I'm, I'm guessing the teeth thing is done so that like you know that she doesn't laugh out loud 
Like that's unbecoming of a princess, you know. That's not something that a princess should do. So that's why the teeth are like. But the eyebrows, I don't know why. Yeah. <sighs> you forgot, like you left those things behind, you know? So, like, I don't think you have. Like, at least you don't have the right to, like, bring that up now. Just like her, caged in, you know, Yeah, like free it, like, like, like looking at the bird, like she got reminded of herself. The bird can fly away, but she cannot. Wow. What? Damn! What the? Um... <laughs> wow. Okay, that's good. Oh, that guy who... She's goody. Rich upstairs. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, okay. Wow. This old guy is pretty, you know, excited. <laughs> What's happening? 
What the? Oh, this is a race. Oh, oh, th is this? Oh my God. They're having some kind of contest or something? What the hell? Wow, what an amazing. <laughs> This guy, like... We should choose, huh? Wow, good, like... I'm feeling bad for the girl. Um, how about no one? <laughs> wow. Like, I kind of get it, like, for their, like, you know, for their age, uh, for the older age, for, like, in the olden ages, like, this is something that is, you know, extremely rare, and, like, for them, this is how they, like, do things. It is for himself, you know, like, it's not as if, it is for himself, he's doing each and everything, not... Like thinking about Kaguya, like he's doing it to satisfy his own, you know, own self. Like, we can't even see his wife now. Like, he has become so engrossed in this whole fame. Oh, great. Hmm, okay. Drilled branch from a tree of Mount Horai in China with silver roots, gold trunk, and pearls of fruit. Wow. Okay, let's see what you have to say. <laughs> Worship you, Dan! <laughs> My forehead. He's a simp! He's a simp! Robe of what? That's a weird. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, what? What? Like, how dare you? <laughs> Five colored stone that shines from dragon's neck. Whoa. Kauri shell. Um, okay. Yeah, everyone is like treating her like, you know, the treasure. 
a showpiece. Mm. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think that was like a, you know. I think the video was somehow like you guys please check if the like sync is okay with you or not like there was a little bit of cut yeah i ask okay let's see what she says oh <laughs> Okay, yeah, like, go. <laughs> exactly, like, you said it, now do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, this is a good way, you know. The dragon snake. <laughs> yeah. So why did they like? <laughs> this is a good way, you know, to dump people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, this guy is like... <laughs> yeah, goodbye. <laughs> What? <laughs> wow, good job. Okay, she... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Uh, I don't think your father will come. Maybe he, maybe her mom will come. Hmm. Yeah, this looks a lot better, you know, uh, the natural look. <laughs> wow, the drawings are so good. Yeah, her mom is here, but obviously her dad is busy with like uh doing stuff. They're keeping his reputation intact, you know.
Oh, is his dad here as well? Or no, no. There was someone else. The cherry blossoms are here again. So... Or is that plum blossom? Uh, that's cherry blossom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So smooth, like I'm extremely impressed by the you know the way they decided to draw and animate this. The way she like she you know laughed around when she was a child. Oh Oh who is this? Oh. Okay. I thought maybe the, it was, you know, those, those kids from the village. Yeah, this is making her realize. Hmm. What? Oh, Sutemaru. <laughs> the chicken damn they're all oh no those are other people is she... cannot recognize her or something oh no okay and he got caught god damn it ah uh, okay Oh no. Oh. Three years. Yeah, she, like her mom is like you know, 
but not like wearing those like fancy clothes and stuff like it was good for a time being but like What, did she catch a frog or something? Oh, a dragonfly. What? Oh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a jungle. Hmm. <laughs> she made it like this. Mount rising behind the mountain. Oh my god. Oh, come on, like, give a break. What? Oh god, stop, like, uh, I'm sure it's some kind of fake thing or something. Oh boy. Yeah, like that's not possible. Oh, God damn. Let's see what it that is like. I'm sure there's some kind of, you know, like some kind of fake thing. Like something like a jewels, like, uh, like out of a tree is impossible. Okay, let's see what you have brought. Come on, show us. What? What the hell? What? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. What the hell is it doing? What? Huh? 
This guy is as fake as Ukan Rudy. <laughs> what is this guy? Without a second glance at the maiden. Yeah, I believe you. I don't believe you. Oh boy. It's not even worth a single tail. That's a poorly constructed <laughs> story. What? Oh, did the others come as well? Oh my god, I can see how this is going to go. What? What's happening? <laughs> wow! Okay, I hope you don't show your face again here, you know? Like, like you know, the way you try to trick her. <laughs> wow, it's, it's not even paid for. Good job. Capture him, capture him. His wife. What? What a trash. He like. He <laughs> said, "Oh my god." Wow. <laughs> and like that again, I'm sure like some kind of fake thing. What did he bring? Let's see. Ho 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 ho. Like, yeah. Exactly. It won't catch fire. Okay, like, show us the proof. Should oh. what? Okay, let's see.
Is it burning? Yeah. Yeah, it's burning. Isn't it? Or not? Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Get out! Get out! Oh! <laughs> okay, go, go back home. <sighs> no one gives a damn. Hmm, but still. Yeah, I doubt it will be something like this again. What? Um, that's not a wondrous thing, you know? Like... Making his, like, wife? Oh boy. <laughs> His where- Oh! What the- Yeah, you should, like, fight, like, you should punch the dragon now. Ooh, what the- Is that really the dra dragon or something? Oh my god! Oh no! No uh, uh. oh boy! Oh! Is he hallucinating or something? You know, like seeing the clouds as a dragon, the waves as dragons. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Oh, okay. This guy will fight a dragon. Oh, the last the last prince. Uh the one with what was that? He promised um I forgot. What? Oh, Lord Buddha's uh, stone bow. Okay, his name, Ishitsukuri, it means like making stone, you, isn't it? Like Ishi means stone and Tsukuri means making. So... What? That on a rock by the road slide.
What? Um. Okay, he is kind of truthful, you know. Okay, like um. Devotion. But the flower will wilt, you know? <laughs> I'm kind of nitpicking, I, I get it, but still. <laughs> oh boy, you kind of... Okay, he is a lot better than the others. Like I can, I can see that. Mm. I don't know why, but I, this guy is saying good stuff, but he seems kind of fake. What? Okay. I was saying this, you know, flowers are beautiful. Like he is fascinated on that. And I said this before, like flowers will. So what will he do then? Like she was almost, you know, almost going to go, but then her mom came and said that, okay, let me just go and handle this. Like she was almost tricked. Oh, this is the last guy. Ah, very good. <laughs> good job. Oh! He's dead? What? Wait, he's dead? What? Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. Like, what the? Yeah, it's, they brought it upon themselves. <laughs> but like... <sighs> like just go back to your village, like this is like... Oh boy. Okay, what now? Oh! 
Okay, this will be a problem now. Please someone slap him. Like, someone please. Oh my god, his dad is going to, you know. Oh, god, stop! Just stop now, like, enough. Yeah, like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, you were so, such a good person before. Oh. Shut up, go away, like. You know what, like, that gold changed him. If, if nothing like that sort of things happened, nothing would have happened like this. Can you please stop? Like, this guy is like irritating me now. Damn. This guy will be a problem, I can see. <laughs> Damn, this guy got like even more interested. Quiet visit, okay. Oh, the is here. What the? Oh my god, this guy is... Ugh. Oh my... Oh, the cringe! Uh. What? Damn! What happened there? Oh, what was that? Oh. 
Is she like invisible or something? Oh, she's here. Like, you know, this is one thing that I really hate in, like, TV shows and animes and everything. Like, this type of, like, blatant, like, harassing people. And, like, this is the guy who is responsible for all of this. She was a, you know, gift from the gods, like she like was born in that bamboo shoot, but now she's like facing so many problems. You don't understand? Wow. Shut up. Wait, what? What? Wait, what's happening? Okay, I was not expecting this. What? Oh yeah, like the Kavya Hime has this thing. Uh, I think you can kind of remember like something related to the moon. I am one who was sent to them. Oh! 15th Shut up, like, you don't have the right to say that. Oh! So that's why she, like, she suddenly like vanished or something. Yeah, good for her, like, this is something that She, he's still like thinking about himself.
finally remember okay what okay why oh okay I was born to truly live just like the birds and the beast. But then you like went off the rails. I don't think that's going to help, like... Whoa! Hmm... Wait, so what was her actual like reason for coming in this world? Like, she said something about living with the beasts and everything. Like, was she supposed to, you know, live uh, in nature? But like she came here and that's why... The same song. Yeah. Someone would come back from here. Oh, someone came here before. Oh. We had the two pilots.
Okay, um... Okay, by home, I'm guessing she means, yeah, that home. Okay, she was, okay, I kind of understood what she was trying to say. Like, she's like drawing the parallel between, you know, the princess from the moon who wanted to come back home that is here. And her, yucky, like yearning to go back to her home that is, you know, in that little hut with everyone. So that was like a parallel and like she can, as she said, like she can understand. That how she felt. The princess from the moon felt. Oh, this is... Is this that what was his name? Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, not that. <clears throat> She's talking about something completely different.
<gülüyor> Gel <Gelmişti. gülüyor> Okay, your kimono. <laughs> Damn, she can like. What the? Wait. Wait, is this some kind of a dream she's having or something? Like, how is she flying? Um Oh Damn Is she really dreaming like this is something impossible Um The moon. Oh, no. Is dreaming or not? Yeah. Mm, yeah, I was thinking like this may be a dream. Yeah, he's married, I think. Hmm. Yeah, August fifteenth. <laughs> oh. Oh damn. Oh, okay. Um yeah. I doubt arrows will be of any use. But you can try. Oh my god. Yeah, like they came with a full army. Nope, nothing's going to happen. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yep. Yep, the whole heaven has come for her. Oh, that's Buddha, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you go to sleep. Wow. Hmm. Whoa. Oh no.
Yeah, all of this like she'll forget. Okay, guys, that's the end. Ugh. Now, <clears throat> okay, wow, that was heavy. Um, so it it kind of like went in a completely different direction that I was hoping. Like you know, when there's like this, the things were happening where like these people were all like, uh proposing to her and everything and she was kind of having fun in her own way and everything and then like it suddenly like shifted in a direction which like at least i never like expected now the whole thing with the moon came into like the situation situation now there's one thing that i knew always like kaguya hime was somehow related to the moon you know uh, like that's one thing that I've like heard a lot and also like I've also heard about this like the bamboo cutter's tale and Kaguya Hime was uh, like a person and like I was not sure as to where the correlation with her and the moon came into play so like after like watching this I can kind of understand that like how like this happens and what is the actual thing now I'm talking like about all of this like I, like i think this is most probably the correct you know the correct uh, like tale of kaguya hime if i am wrong please be sure to correct me down like uh, like i'm talking about all of this basing that all of the things that were shown in this anime was that was actually in the you know in the story of kaguya hime uh, like uh, sometimes anime does uh, like few small little changes and like makes the story a little bit different from the actual story or the actual legend as it goes so I'm not sure if the this movie did the same thing or if it is like like completely hundred percent accurate. So like I'm talking about it based on this movie. Uh, one thing that I definitely knew was Kawe Hime was somehow related to the moon, and also she was somehow related to the bamboo cutter somehow. So it kind of clarified me on that. Like what actually is the thing? Now another thing. Like obviously, I, I said that uh, like obviously, Kaguya Hime. Every I think uh, most of the people who like watches anime knows or has at least have heard about Kaguya Hime. Now that is because like Kaguya Hime is brought into a lot of animes. You know, uh, one anime is like uh, like the anime that I'm going to talk about is not something that like talks about Kaguya Hime, but it has someone called Kaguya that is Gintama. Like you know, Kaguya, uh, like she like there was like one episode I, I can think about where it kind of like like uh, like as you know like Gintama kind of jokes about they were like like saying something about like Kaguya Hime from the moon or something and kind of like making uh, like correlation with Kaguya in Gintama and Kaguya in the moon I think it was in one of those uh, you know uh, uh, one of those episodes I cannot remember in the, one, one of the middle episodes where like uh Anyways, I forgot. Anyways, like there was this kind of correlation that they made. 
and that was one another one that we recently uh, like saw is Tony Kaku Kawai you know if I'm sure you guys have watched it Tony Kaku Kawai has I think a big relation with Kaguya Hime like there's like this hint they always like give around that the main girl is somehow related to Kaguya or something along that line I'm not sure what actually is the thing but there is like this one thing uh, I don't know if it has and like the story continues after that like the anime was I think 12 episodes or something so obviously I think the manga continues or something like it continues after that I'm not sure if they'll have a second season or not but uh, I think she is somehow related to Kaguya like it's like like uh, frequently hinted like that so that and also a lot of other animes a lot of other like uh, mediums where I've heard about Kaguya Hime uh, another example is uh, from um, um, what was it uh, Fate Grand Order like and I don't know if you guys play uh, FGO or uh, there was like this event like there was this recent event where there was a big emphasis on Princess Kaguya, you know, uh, the bamboo cutter's tail. So, um, yeah, like uh, a lot of like things like this. So Kaguya Hime was something that I was extremely curious about. And uh, like, so like this is the movie uh, on it. So I was clarified on a lot of things. And I think there is like this another um, thing with Kaguya where there's like this tragic uh, like r romantic tale about her or something. I'm not sure. Um, I, or I, am I mistaking something? I'm missing something else up with Kaguya. But I think there was this some kind of a thing like that also. Which kind of shown here I can see it like the way uh, mm, the guy like the what was his name uh, like with whom Kaguya was saying that we could have had a good future but it's too late like that is kind of tragic in a way but yeah uh, is that the end or is there something else let's see no that's the end all right so yeah so as i was saying so <coughs> Oh, Sutemaru, I think his name was. So there was a thing with him, but still that was like kind of like uh, like, uh, like like not uh, like focused on. And <laughs> like it was kind of like Kavya was saying that we could have had a good f uh, future, but it's been too late. And um, so the whole thing in this story was Kaguya was someone who like who was ob obviously like in the moon. And she met a person who had come to the earth and returned to the moon and forgot everything. So whenever that person uh, sang this song, this, this song that they were singing, you know, uh, she remembered her like nostalgic past and nostalgic days in the earth and fondly and like, uh, like started crying and teared up with that. I think Kaguya was, you know, uh, fascinated with that. And she like ran away to the earth or came to the earth and to like experience the same feelings that uh, that person felt to experience that feeling she had to you know uh, live her life in the hut that she was like living and as i said like in the wild like as she kind of said that i was supposed to live in the wild with the beasts and all of them so like which was kind of the what she was doing previously when she like lived with the bamboo cutter and his wife then they were like having fun and like laughing, running around and stealing stuff and, you know, doing like doing things that kids usually do. Mm, like she was supposed to live a life like that. But after those gold started coming and the, like, you know, those things started coming from the heavens. Um, the person, the, the bamboo cutter kind of changed and like he uh, and they like went to the capital and stuff like this started happening and like uh, then she started like you know uh, deflecting from her original motive her original uh, motive was to come here and live within the nature i think at least that is the thing that she was trying to say and then like she when she remembers after the prince comes and like hugs her um she remembered it 
and she started having this fear and she understood that i was supposed to live and like experience that and she also started understanding what that princess from the moon felt when she thought about her like home the home being earth to her and she also felt the same feeling because she was not at her home she was at this capital within all of these fancy stuff her home her actual home was that place the place where she was born when she like laughed and like ran around in her childhood uh the simple lifestyle so she started feeling and she started understanding what that person felt and she, then she started lamenting that i was supposed to like be in like within the nature with everyone laughing around not like this like became becoming a fake you know showpiece for everyone to fawn up upon like that was not something that i was supposed to do so she started having this regret and then she when she like uh when the dream section comes in and when like sute uh, sute maru i think his name was uh he and like kavya kind of like you know flies around and everything and she has this dream uh that was the time when like kagure also expresses her like um you know her um, <coughs> like uh like her actual desire her um like the things that she felt that she shouldn't have done you know wasted time in the uh, capital and everything instead of like having fun here and like living her life like that so she started lamenting about that and she started saying that it's too late like it's too late and like the the future that i was supposed like the, the the way that i was supposed to live uh, it won't happen anymore and uh, i think that is also the reason why when she lamented and when that like the prince came and hugged her she like unconsciously wanted to go back you know to the moon go back home again and i i think something like that happened and like by home she meant i'm sure she meant that place that hut but the heavens the people from the heavens like uh, like listened to that as if like she was asking for help or something and they started like decided to come on the 15th and take her away i think it was something went in this way that's why like she was saying you know like uh, i kind of like said that i want to go home and then they like responded and they decided to come and take me back so yeah and so it's kind of like you know uh she was supposed to live her life so happily but uh, because of how like uh everything kind of got messed up she started lamenting and uh, the frustrations she had uh that was heard by her actual people from the moon and they came and took her away so it's kind of you know the fault of the people here like uh, especially uh, the bamboo cutter like he was a simple man before and it's when that like he saw that gold he completely changed little by little but obviously his like heart was still like in the end he kind of like uh, like got his own like you know uh, kind of got his own redemption and he understood that what he did was a mistake like in the end she kind of like he kind of like uh, asked for forgiveness to his wife like i'm sorry what what i have done and i think she understood that uh, the things that he had done was something that he shouldn't have done he shouldn't have like got let like made the greed go into his head like uh, later on it was all because of his own sake you know he was saying that i am doing everything for your sake which was not correct like he was doing each and everything for his own sake like that was how you know uh, greed is it makes you blind so that was a mistake big mistake that he did and he understood it later on yeah and um that and you know uh, another thing i was like thinking about uh, uh like i sometimes think about this like uh, like for example when uh, the gods came from the um heavens and like one of them like said that uh, like come with us you forget all of the sorrow you'll forget all of the sadness uh over here and you live like happily ever after with us and then like kagura kind of like snaps back and said says that uh, how can you say that like uh, like happiness sadnesses are all part of life is something that we should experience like without experiencing that how can we say that i'll be happy like i i also think like this sometimes you know like whenever i you know there's this thing where like people think that um like 
you know, the, as people say, heaven, hell, like uh, there's like a, a like place where after you die, um, you sh like there's like nothing there, you know, like no sadness, nothing. You are in kind of a tranquility or something like that. Um, I kind of think at that time that if there is no sadness, no happiness, nothing in that place, then how is that good? Like, obviously, I'm not a philosopher, nor am I, a, you know, uh, someone in, like a spiritual level. Uh, but I kind of think like if there's no happiness, no sadness, then in my opinion, like Earth is better, isn't it? Like in this place, you can like experience so many things. Yeah, definitely. You will feel a lot of sadness. You'll feel a lot of like pain like uh, that is like uh you know uh, th that's living like if you live you're bound to get hurt sometimes and uh like for people like some for some people it's the amount of pain or sadness a bit is a bit more but for someone it's a bit less for in their lifetime but it, it like differs but everyone has good times everyone has bad times so that is the joy of living you know the joy of uh exp like living you can experience so much things happiness sadness uh, disappointment um like you can like eat food like good food <laughs> and um you know experience love and stuff like these uh, which are like it's a thing that you want to, to like experience in your life like that's happiness so i think that um if you don't experience these things how is that supposed to be better than like we people who live here and experience this now there's also this thing that i said that you know all of these things like um like food um happiness sadness like these are all connected to the different sins you know sloth gluttony uh, which are considered sin um pride uh, a lot of them so you know these kind of materialistic uh like the materialistic things and these kind of you know uh Mm, instincts that people have these kind of uh like emotions that people have uh these are considered sins but um, like like indulging in them kind of gives you happiness kind of an irony isn't it oh well like i'm going completely in a different <laughs> direction anyways um yeah and uh like kaguya was this you know uh, like another thing that I really realized after watching this uh, show is that uh, I think uh, I'm not sure if uh, like a lot of places had this kind of a tradition, you know, where especially in Japan, like uh, princesses or like people from the high, you know, high reputations, and they were supposed to be this prim, proper, perfect person. And that's why they like, you know, they like shaved their eyebrows, painted their teeth, like made this like give them a lot of makeup and they had always had to like sit like this stand up gracefully start walking gracefully uh, learn the like instruments and stuff like you know they were like made this kind of a fake doll a fake persona they had to make so that like they can like um act like that in the outside world in front of the outside world with grace and everything which is um I think this is like uh, like obviously I don't know much many, many many much things about Japanese traditions and everything, but uh, like doing this kind of things I think is something that they did before. Obviously, in a lot of places, uh, similar kind of like things was were done, like uh, treating people like this, you know, like this kind of a like perfect being. Um, so uh like obviously like i like uh, watch this kind of like japanese animes and everything so like uh i've only seen it in japanese anime i'm sure like a lot of places in the world also had this kind of things but uh like as far as my knowledge uh like this show like really expand like made me realize about this even more you know i i had this like uh, thing and i knew about this but the way they like described it in this show, like, you know, the whole thing about like uh, cutting the eyebrows that that I didn't know at all. And now I realize that, oh, yeah, like they really has like small eyebrows. Like I never noticed this before, especially in paintings, you know, uh, the paintings of the like rich nobles and everyone, the princesses, they had this kind of small eyebrows and they never smiled and uh, like, like showed their teeth. That's also that was also showed that so that. <coughs> You do not like laugh out loud. Your teeth were like uh, painted black and everything. 
I'm not sure about the significance of the eyebrows. I'm not sure about why they did that, but must be something related to that and uh, all of these things. So yeah, it's kind of a really a sad thing, you know, like the person who was supposed to be special was treated like this. Like they like themselves had no freedom and they had to be this kind of a showpiece for all people to fawn uh, like on like all of them like all of the prin prince like prin the princess that they came they kind of like uh, fawned upon her and started like uh, like and treated her like you know this kind of a treasure an irreplaceable thing but at the same time like they, they were also comparing her to that which kind of like shows that that was what she was like even like fine like uh that was what she was to them an irreplaceable treasure not a human being and also the thing with the flower was something that i was also a little bit tricked you know at the beginning i was thinking like what the hell is this guy's even saying then i thought like oh maybe this guy is a little bit different you know he is like talking about how like you know uh like i don't li like you for the treasures and everything i will like like you as a human being and stuff Kaguya was also kind of tricked into it and I was also thinking that maybe I'm like judging this guy a really, little too harshly uh, maybe he is not as bad as he seems but I kind of felt that no this guy seems really fake you know the way she he was talking and everything and then maybe I was thinking like oh maybe I'm really like judging him a bit too harshly but then came, came his mom and <laughs> like his demeanor completely changed like he was talking about how like he loved him her as a person but the funny thing is he never saw him with her before so like it's, as soon as he like saw the person behind the curtains he just bailed out and it kind of shows that um you know um like he was comparing her to the flower and i also said that that flowers uh, like wither like flowers uh, die easily so like when the flower will wither will he still love her as much as he loved her when the flower was in full bloom or will that change so it kind of like shows us that and like uh you know i, I this one thing also i i believe that uh, uh <clears throat> obviously first impressions is uh extremely uh important to people uh like people kind of judge you by looking at you that's why you you know you kind of like make yourself presentable in front of people so that like obviously if someone like meets you for the first time they don't know who you are or how you are you know they don't know your personality so how will they judge you by looking at you at the beginning so that's why you always like like you know keep yourself fit and like everything like prim proper and like go in front of you other people and they judge you by that but then but then when you like start talking and like start like becoming friends and everything they start like knowing you personally and then they like you know uh, start liking you uh, liking your character as well that's when like uh, things change so the way this guy was you know talking so like uh, so 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 much so many things so many, many like uh, praising her so much without even like looking at her knowing how she was like that kind of like <laughs> made me suspicious about him and yeah he kind of messed up in the end so yeah and <clears throat> that and uh, it was a good show you know uh, especially the animation and the um, drawings were so like unique i loved it and um another thing that really like made me uncomfortable was the way the prince that you know the big like the big hot shot the big prince and uh, the majesty your majesty he, the way he acted like that was so ugh. like that was so uncomfortable i felt like so i don't know like it's so cringe like the way he was like acting <coughs> but ah uh, <laughs> that was something <laughs> uh, i wish i should i i hope i should i would never experience again and uh, that and also I was really like, you know, a little bit mad at the uh, bamboo cutter uh, in the like later stages the way he was not even like listening to her uh, to Kaguya and it kind of like made me a little, you know, a little mad But like he was a good guy in his heart and he kind of like, you know, lost his way in the middle but still he is a good guy and um, Yeah, like I really hope that uh like he was too late at like realizing his mistake and that's a shame really a shame 
and yeah this was a sad story like i knew somewhere in my heart that kaguya like kaguya's story was must be sad like uh, i usually do not like especially in these kind of legends like it's usually not a happy ending like you know there's the, this another story with like uh, hikoboshi and orihime sama i think um the whole thing with the milky way amenogawa and they like meet uh, only uh, i think uh, once a year i think but if it rains uh, the like the river floods and they are unable to meet that one year so like it kind of like gets postponed to the next year so usually people you know do, do that whole thing with uh, like uh, what was this called teritoru bosu they like uh, like hang it uh, so that it doesn't rain on, on that day uh, i think it's called tanebata isn't it uh, yeah the whole thing with uh, like uh, writing your wishes in the bamboo uh, like shoots and like uh, stringing it up yeah tanebata it's called tanebata and the whole like festival of that like there's also another legend that is also i think has some kind of a sad you know sad conclusion as to um i think i knew the story i kind of forgot there was i think uh, like uh, orihime was uh, like had a job to you know make cloth or something and she like went met, met this farmer person who was called hikoboshi i cannot remember and like they fell in love and but her dad was kind of mad at that and uh, kind of uh, like stopped her from from like uh, marrying him or something something like that happened but they like got married or something but then his father her father came and took her back to the heavens and now they had this like only once a year they had this chance to go and meet each other um, like these kind of this is also like a sad conclusion that also had a sad conclusion and similarly to this one so like all these like you know legends and stuff usually end so sadly and it's kind of a, a like i am a really like you know i really want like happy endings to happen and i really don't like sad endings <laughs> so yeah but like nothing can be done like this is a uh, like the harsh reality <laughs> like usually stuff don't go uh, as you plan and as you wish it to go but like kawi had fun here and i'm sure like this will be kind of like a fond memory for her back in the heavens and it was also it will be a fond memory and also be a sad memory for her so yeah that was a good show and uh, i was really impressed by this and it is as good as i expected it to be especially the animation the especially in the middle portion when like she was running her away you know like the way the animation was done was so good like so unique the way it was like uh, rushing past the screen and um like it kind of showed her the rage the inner rage he he had and <clears throat> like all of those things so yeah and uh, as always uh, all ghibli movies has a moral and i think this this uh, like movie had an, a moral where this like you know the whole faith thing comes into play where like uh, they showed us how people uh, has to like you know uh, wear this outer persona uh, to be like you know they are like made this kind of a doll so that uh, especially i think these these things like happened in the older times nowadays i doubt these kind of things happen i don't know i'm not sure but i doubt uh, something like this happens but still there are people who kind of like act like this you know make uh, like conscious effort to uh, be this kind of a prim proper person in front of the others kind of acting fake so that was what like uh, this story was about you know the whole uh, kaguya was like you know made kind of like a fake persona outside so that the other people could she could be presented in front of the other royalty and the royalty all the royalties were also kind of fake doing fake stuff talking about fake things and like kind of trying to trick her in the end uh, like bringing fake stuff and like that's the irony like uh, kaguya does not like these kind of fake uh, things the way like she is presented and everything but uh, like she is herself is kind of like in, made in the same light you know the way she was <coughs> presenting him herself was also kind of fake so later on she also kind of uh, says something about this that uh, like they were all fake but i myself am also kind of a fake person living here Uh, which is kind of the bamboo cutter's fault in her way like uh, but still like uh, he wanted the best for her 
which kind of uh, like like changed direction midway and like he like only started to like act on his greed and everything it's kind of sad like people become like this you know whenever like uh, these kind of things situations come into play so yeah okay so thank you guys for watching this was a good movie i liked it and now i am like uh, i think at least i think like this is the actual tale of princess kaguya if i'm wrong please be sure to write me down in the comments and like let me know if this is like you know the actual how the story goes so thank you guys for watching so this was uh, princess kaguya uh, the tale of princess kaguya and okay so uh, let me just talk about what will i'll do the next week um i'll do uh, this one uh, the next week uh, this is called Turenai no Buta or Porco Rosso and uh, I think there was like a comment in one of my uh, sh uh, like uh, movies so I'm going to do this before the others so yeah uh, so this I'll, I'll do this one next week so let's just see what this is about uh, next week I'm quite excited uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video so if you guys enjoyed this reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed Comment down below anything you want to show, uh, say about this uh, uh, movie or anything in general. Uh, be sure to comment down. I'll check them out. And so yeah, guys. So yeah, I'll be back with another uh, Ghibli movie next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.